Now to the latest from the campaign trail, Donald Trump. Today will give it a major economic policy speech at the Detroit Economic Club as he tries to revamp his campaign. Maria Bartiromo on Sunday Morning Futures asked Trump's campaign chairman, Paul Manafort, about the details of Trump's economic plan. Here's what he told her. A growth of economic plan that will focus on not just lowering taxes, but will focus on cutting deregulation, uh, unleashing America's energy uh, uh, capabilities, focusing on things that will help the middle class be able to afford their lifestyle, uh, try and get wages to be real, have real growth as opposed to stagnancy like we see today. In her special for USA Today, Maria caught up with one of Trump's economic advisors, the Heritage Foundation's distinguished visiting fellow, Steve Moore, for an early look at Trump's economic plan. According to Moore, at the heart of this plan is a 15% corporate tax rate. That's down from 35% currently. There will also be a middle class tax cut. It will eliminate the estate tax, the alternative minimum tax, and the marriage penalty. Finally, about 90% of Americans will be able to take a standard deduction. Let's bring in senior economic advisor to the Trump campaign, David Malpass. Uh, will we, should we expect to hear uh, more on those details at noon today? Hi, good morning. Yes, well, there'll be a whole speech at noon today from Mr. Trump, uh, and some of the information uh, will be coming out then at that time with detailed fact sheets. But the key thing is to think about the economy as waiting uh, for growth. Uh, it, growth can be unleashed, but you have to change policy. And the problem with Hillary Clinton's plan is that she just plans to keep the policies the same way. She's going to be in this hard spot of having to defend Obama's 1.2 percent growth rate over the last year. Trump is talking about tax reform, is proposing tax reform, uh, regulatory reform, energy reform, mm -hmm. and trade reform, all of which will bring the growth rate much higher and raise the when real median income. When you say that, David, income. what kind of growth rate are you, are, are you predicting based on these changes that Trump is proposing? Uh, I think we can see 4%, but look, in, in, when, when Ronald Reagan did a major tax reform uh, like this is envisioning, uh, growth went to 7%, even went to 8%. Even when George W. Bush did a tax cut in 2003, growth went over 7%. We ha th we've, this is the first administration where growth simply hasn't gone over 3%. We don't really have a recovery going. So there's lots of prosperity that can be unleashed through better policy. And I want to talk about the debt this country faces, David. You've eased off on your statement that Trump will be able to wipe out <laughs> America's $19 trillion debt in eight years. What do you now say? Uh, is it doable? We want strong finances for the U.S. We don't have that now. CBO is projecting that the national debt will go up by a trillion dollars every year over the next 10 years under the Obama, under current policies. So the goal here is to have much faster growth. Uh, that causes the whole economy to begin investing more. Look what happened in the 1980s. Reagan did the tax cut, and by, within 10 years, the deficit had moved into a surplus. Now, that also had had to do with a cut in the capital gains tax rate in 1995, but the, the success was from having the economy get bigger at a rapid pace, and that requires better policies from the federal government. David, it's David McDowell. Is Donald Trump going to talk about this idea that he's going to do double what Hillary Clinton has proposed in terms of infrastructure spending? We're looking at it may be more than half a trillion dollars that he's talking about. And I personally have mocked the idea out of President Obama for the last seven and a half years because I swear he's mentioned infrastructure spending as some sort of magic elixir to getting the economy growing. And Martin Feldstein even said he was like, you don't need infrastructure spending to grow the economy. So is he going to hammer down on this idea today? Hi, Dagan. Well, I think we do need a lot more infrastructure. A lot of that can come from the private sector. It can come more from more efficient use of federal funds than what we do right now. So I, I think we, we, the, we do need to see more infrastructure. But the focus of the speech today is on tax reform, uh, regulatory reform, trade reform, and energy reform. All of that is really going to make the economy go faster. Look, the spending, it, Washington is really out of control on spending. So 
So I think there has to be a whole program to make more effective uh, spending. And Donald Trump has talked about making the right, government so David, more, more like a business. I want to talk like about the people involved that he's employing to get this done, should he be elected president. You're on Trump's Economic Advisory Council. Other names include billionaire hedge fund manager Don Paulson, investor Wilbur Ross, and Oklahoma oil magnate uh, Harold Hamm, among others. But some criticize that these, there's not enough economists on this list that you're looking at. What do you say to that? Hi, Diggin. Well, uh, or I mean, Sandra. I think, <laughs> it's all right. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandra. I didn't hear you go back. No, we're just um, switching around on you. You can't see uh, us. We can see you. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, look, I, I, I think it's good not to have too many economists. Uh, the, the critical thing here is to have good business managers uh, that can make the uh, government more effective. You know, if you look back on these, on these years where the U.S. has done poorly in, in the economy, there just aren't enough good business managers to mm -hmm. make it operate. So I think this is a good team. Everybody's working together. You're going to see a good plan at noon from, from, uh, uh, from Trump. Uh, and that's going to then be able to be implemented by cabinet. He's going to talk some about the cabinet and the importance of the okay. cabinet itself running a better effective operation. All right. David Malpass, thanks for joining us this morning. Good to have you. Thank you.